Is there anything more beautiful than a sunrise? Hi, I'm Roman Armitage. And if you're watching this, you're probably wondering what's going on. Well, there's no need to worry. Let's take a walk. You have been chosen because of the physical advantages you've enjoyed your entire lifetime. With your natural gifts and our determination, we could both be part of something greater. Something perfect. I see politics in your future, sir. Perhaps a run at the Oval Office. Well, you know I've never given that serious consideration. Well, hey, good. General, he faked it. Major. You are the most insubordinate officer I have ever met. You tell the players that I reimburse the trainer for the cigarettes and the diet shakes. I'm sorry, the players will be reimbursed? The trainer, George. Tell the players I reimburse the trainer. What's the matter with you? This is the third time I've had to repeat myself. Sorry, Mr. Willard. Look, sorry doesn't cut it. We're running a ball club here, George. You've got to pay attention. I know, sir. It won't happen again. Let me see. I, uh, I had an assignment for you. Uh, let, me, uh, let me think here a <laughs> When you're done, George, you can bring it directly to me. Mr. Steinbrenner is very interested in this. Yes, sir. Yes, George. I want you to make this project a top priority. I will, sir. Top priority. Top priority. Top priority. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Wilhelm, what, what are you doing here? I'm here to clean the carpets. Most of the world is carpeted. And one day, we will do the cleaning. Him you brainwashed? What's he got that I don't have? <laughs> Mr. Wilhelm, listen, you've been abducted. Please, Mr. Wilhelm, you gotta listen to me. Wilhelm? My name is Tanya. <laughs> You could, huh? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> you lousy little shit stain. You snoring piece of shit! You think I'm gonna let somebody like you blackmail me? <laughs> your first engineer don't want a broken. And you'll never be grading a coal wind with your bath sweep. Uh, in layman's terms, how bad is she? She's a total pig. I have a theory. Would you like to hear it? Why not? I think that some of your Ferengi friends found a way to profit from Lieutenant Barclay's work. You were encouraged to get close to him. And when you had all the information you needed, you left him. What is sex, after all? Two clunky old bodies thrashing around against each other. You get all sweaty and flushed. Hair gets mussed. You lose your breath. You lose your earring. Your mouth waters. Your nose runs. Your heart races. Your blood races. Rose. Say it, Ernie. It's time, Rose. Check, please. God damn it, DeYoung. I'm tired of hearing what you can't do. I want to know what you can do. Our only other choice is to try to scram the plant. Scram the son of a bitch. <laughs>